For over 40 years, the federally established Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, RECRA, created under the Environmental Protection Agency, has been in place to protect human health and the environment through conservation and waste reduction efforts. By managing hazardous waste with a cradle-to-grave approach, it paved the way to maintain environmentally sound waste management practices. Following the Colorado hazardous waste regulations is not optional. To be fully compliant with RECRA, you must understand the RECRA rules and regulations and apply them to your work environment. Let's watch a series of scenarios play out in two different ways. Review each scene for compliance successes and for regulatory shortcomings to develop a keen eye towards the details of waste management. Understanding your waste is one of several steps in making a hazardous waste determination. Mixing unknown chemicals could pose environmental and safety risks. It could also increase your hazardous waste generation requirements. Hazardous waste containers must be closed unless adding or removing waste. All drums containing hazardous waste must be labeled hazardous waste. Be proactive when you see an unlabeled waste drum to prevent cross-contamination and the release of toxins into the environment. Secured lids and affixed labels is a requirement under RECRA. Remember, it's important to understand your waste in order to make a proper hazardous waste determination. Lids must be secured unless adding or removing hazardous waste. All drums containing hazardous waste must be labeled with the words hazardous waste and with labeling indicating the hazard posed by the waste. For example, flammable, corrosive, toxic, etc. Ensure containers are closed and are labeled with the accumulation start date. Inability to visually inspect a drum due to inadequate aisle space is a violation. Drums must be readily accessible for inspection and removal. All drums should be checked weekly for hazardous waste label, accumulation start date, and any dents or leaks. Using a weekly inspection checklist is strongly recommended. Informing management and remedying drum issues such as leaks, dents, and or deterioration or illegible labels is a best management practice and meets regulatory intent. In summary, ensure there is adequate aisle space to allow for complete container inspection. Check condition of containers for any leaks, dents, and or deterioration. All drums containing hazardous waste must be labeled with the words hazardous waste and with labeling indicating the hazard posed by the waste. For example, flammable, corrosive, toxic, etc. Ensure containers are closed and are labeled with the accumulation start date. Aerosol cans are a universal waste. Universal waste rules require that hazardous waste containers are labeled and that the waste is managed to prevent releases by closing lids, preventing leaks and spills. Storing waste materials inside closed drums prevents releases. Tightly fitting lids trap fumes and spills. Aerosol cans must be disposed of only in labeled, sealable containers. Where possible, fasten lids securely to prevent fumes and spills from escaping. Improperly storing used fluorescent bulbs violates universal waste rules. Bulbs haphazardly stored are easily broken, resulting in the release of mercury gas into the environment. Reusing the original box, labeled properly to indicate that the contents are waste and not usable product, is allowed and ensures compliance and prevents releases. Place used bulbs in a box that fully contains the bulb. The box must be sealed and labeled with the words Universal Waste Bulbs, Waste Bulbs, or Used Bulbs, along with the accumulation start date. To summarize, reusing the original box, properly labeled, is allowed and ensures compliance. 
The box must fully contain the bulbs and be sealed and labeled with the words universal waste bulbs, waste bulbs, or used bulbs, and the label must contain the accumulation start date. Used bulbs must be properly disposed of within one year of the accumulation start date. In 2013, the state of Colorado banned electronic waste from landfills due to the toxicity of the components. Properly managing e-waste items through reputable recycling companies keeps heavy metals such as chromium, cadmium, and lead out of our environment and is required by state regulation. E-waste storage containers labels must read Universal Waste Electronic Devices or Waste Electronic Devices. The name of the electronic device may be substituted for the words electronic device, for example, Universal Waste Monitors. This same scheme is true for electronic components such as circuit boards along with the accumulation start date. E-waste containers must be labeled with the words Universal Waste Electronics, Waste Electronics, or Used Electronics. The label must contain the accumulation start date. E-waste must be properly disposed of within one year of the accumulation start date. Under RECRA, all used oil containers, fill ports, and tanks must be properly labeled with the phrase Used Oil, with lid securely sealed and spills cleaned up promptly. Having spill kits nearby is a best management practice. Ensure used oil spills do not reach local waterways. Oh. Step one, properly label. Step 2. Clean up with spill absorbent materials. Step 3. Dispose of cleanup materials based on waste characterization. Flammable cabinets left open violate fire code and OSHA regulations. Leaking or expired product containers that can no longer be used for their intended purpose must be properly disposed. Failure to properly manage could result in a violation for improper waste determination or storage in lieu of disposal. Under the employee's right to know, OSHA also requires that safety data sheets be available on all hazardous chemicals. Safety data sheets are a tool to understanding your hazardous waste determination. Safety data sheets can be found online. All spills must be cleaned up promptly while wearing appropriate personal protective equipment, or PPE. Routine auditing of chemical inventories and purging unwanted and unneeded chemicals makes for a safer environment. Remember, the flammable's cabinet door should remain closed when not adding or removing items. Before cleaning or disposing of containers, check the labels for hazardous contents, then check the safety data sheets for information about proper disposal. Don appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, before cleaning up all spills and leaks. When finished, properly dispose of all cleaning materials, including disposable PPE, if used. I'd like to take a look at the last three years of your hazardous waste manifest and also the training records for all employees who manage, handle, and deal with hazardous waste. Wow, it's been a while. I'm not really sure where all that is. An inability to produce documented training records and waste disposal manifest, hard copy or electronically, is a common RECRA violation. On the day of inspection, facilities must be able to provide employee record training records. Training records must reflect appropriate and required RECRA content. Three years of waste manifest records with final signature must be available for review. 
Great, we have that right here for you. Great, thank you. Remember, three years of waste manifest records must be available for review. Training records must reflect appropriate and required RECRA content. The training content must be reviewable by the inspector.